Hey everyone, in this video we'll be talking about chapter 4 of Dive into Python. Chapter 4 is about introspection in Python. Everything in Python is an object and we're really going to like get into that. By using introspection we can dynamically inspect Python objects, get information about them, and use them. Python has some built-in functions which help us to achieve introspection and some of these modules are what we'll be looking at today. So the first one is the dir method. This is one of the most important functions as it returns a list of attributes and methods belonging to an object. So as shown here, dir my list returns all the names of methods that can be applied on my list and we can use methods like append which was introduced in chapter 3. We can use this method to inspect without explicitly knowing the internal structure or implementation of the method. It's, it's just handy to have. The next one is type. As the name implies, the type function returns the data type of an object. In this case, the type of my list is a list. The type of count is an integer, and the type of name is a string. And this capability is really good for doing rules-based calculations. So for example, if we did if type of count equals an integer, then do something else, throw an error because we needed an integer, or what, whatever else is out there. It gives us control over handling variables by being able to check the type. Another one is str, uh, and it's short for string. This, this str function casts data into a string. Anything placed within, within here, this variable, it'll change to a string. And you'll notice, well, let me just walk you through what's happening. So we have this variable here and it's set to a list type type of my list then you can use the string method to cast it and now when you do type of my list it says string which is which is handy to have and you can note if you actually print out my list it'll be in single quotes because it is no longer an array it's a string another good thing to be able to do is filtering and you can use list comprehension to to filter lists. So take this one for example here. But we want to get all the even numbers from the list. We know that even numbers are numbers that can be divided by two without a remainder. And if you are in in programming terms, the percent symbol is used. It's called a modulo. And it divides the number to the left of it by the number on the right but returns the remainder rather than the number of times the right number goes into the left. In this case, we're going to be dividing each of these numbers by 2, and if the remainder, right, because of the modulo, if the remainder is 0, then that, that passes through the filter and is added to the redefined list. And so in this case, after running that check, you find out the 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 all fit that condition. And last but not least are lambdas. So lambdas are anonymous functions that are created at runtime. And you can see here basically what that means. So you can, you can note this one. This is just a normal function that takes a number and returns the number by, times 2. And you can see that the lambda here, it does the exact same thing. f of 8 and g of 8 both return 16. The difference is that this lambda is a standalone thing and you can do a little extra things with it. There are a couple benefits of lambdas. So one is that it only takes one line to define, but that's kind of like a cosmetic thing. Another benefit is that lambdas can be passed as arguments to other functions, which is useful. And lastly, since it's a stand-in for a function, you can substitute a lambda in places where you otherwise have to break out multiple functions calling each other. It happens a lot and, and can be made less messy with lambdas. So that's all for chapter four. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.